Hello everyone, this is Dylan Brophy with my Arduino desktop project, and I've made a lot of cool improvements. The first one is now the computer boots straight to a terminal. I did this because it feels, it makes a lot more sense um, because of the way that multitasking works and I don't feel like getting into it. But the next, the best improvement I've made, however, is with, I've gotten an SD card working. So you notice that this, um, there's a new like, cr like um, command interface which starts with this slash dollars sign, um, and the slash is actually your current directory. So now I've gotten the SD card working, you can see all the directories and stuff. So we can do, let's say, cd um, z80, I cannot type today, can I? All right, um, dot B. And now you can see that your current directory has changed. I'm just gonna clear the screen so you can still see it. And if you do dir, it'll print all the files and then their lengths. Um, I do it in hexadecimal because I personally like hexadecimal better. It just works better with computers. And so that, I just, I, it still has a long ways to go to get the files to work and properly and everything, but eventually I'm going to be loading um, these compiled basic files, and I'm working on a basic compiler and interpreter that works entirely on this Arduino desktop. It's still super, like, beta, but um, some of the basic functionality works a little bit, but I can't demonstrate that in the video for you yet. Sorry. Um, also, I made a new color screen for a uh, color scheme for the GUI. And so now it's like a, this blue color because I really like blue. I feel like it's a cleaner, better look. And so I did that. Not much has changed with most of these programs except for Task Manager, which I modified to have this graph of your memory usage. Um, it just, the, the graph is just something that you'll see on like, um, for instance, the Windows Task Manager. They should have it, in, I think they have it in Linux. I don't I don't remember, but um, I just feel like a graph is very useful. And then, I think that's most of my changes. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to make it so you can uh, execute files. We don't wanna execute any of these because that'll crash the computer. Uh, boot.bin. That was not written to be executed this way, so it'll probably give, it'll definitely, almost definitely give me an error. Yeah, invalid opcode error. Um, however, as you can see, it's trying to execute the code. I don't have any code demonstration. I will in future videos, but um, I've made a lot of improvements. I've been working a lot on the project lately. And another thing I'd like to say is that um, I'm making a new board specifically designed to be one board be the entire Arduino desktop. And now that you have an SD card and I got a better keyboard with an actual PS2 port, previously I just plugged a bunch of wires into this Arduino, um, it's just a mess. So I'm going to make a board the size of an Arduino Mega with a PS2, um, a, a PS2 slot a SD card slot, an Arduino Mega, um, and an NGT20 with a VGA connector, and your serial interface, of course, all on one board. I haven't gotten all the parts yet, but when I build it, I'll make a video. So anyways, that's as far as I've gotten. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.